Hello, hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. We are still in Gridania. Um, hang on, where did we leave off last time? I can't remember where we left off last time. We're in Gridania. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I did a little bit extra story-wise, nothing that's actually advanced the quest forward too much. Uh, we've been sent by the Scions to Gridania to deal with the uh, primal threat. Uh, can't remember what the primal's called. Is it Rama? Yeah, so we need to speak to the Sylphs basically um, because they're trying to... Well, they can't actually raise Rama at the moment. I think there's some sort of problem. <laughs> but we don't, want them, we don't want them to do it anyway, so... But thankfully, of all the beast tribes, we have a good open dialogue with the sylphs. Uh, so yes, we want to speak to them. So that's why we're here. I've decided, at least in the next few episodes, to kind of push the main story forward as much as I possibly can. Um, the reason for that being is it's taken me a long time to get on. I think with... Um, with Endwalker's release, it's still quite difficult to to quickly get into the servers. Uh, it's taken me a good couple of hours this evening just to get to this point. Uh, and she's becoming a bit of an annoyance, actually. I was quite understanding of the whole situation. Now I'm just kind of like, eh. I'm just a bit pissed off now. <laughs> Uh, but I'm sure it'll get better over time. You know, the, the queues will die down and people go back to, I don't know, whatever the hell it was they were doing before Endwalker came out. So yeah, we're going to do some story stuff and I'll try and cut out as much of the grindy things that I do as possible. We'll just play it by ear. We'll just see what happens. So, I completely forgotten where I'm going. I started the episode in fine form, as you can no doubt tell. Okay, I'm speaking to you. Uh, I, the fairy duck at the base of this hill, will carry you across the lake to the east shroud. Once you're ashore, head due east, you should find the Hawthorne Hut without much trouble. I've already been there many, many times. I could have just teleported. Give us a ride, Governor. Uh, which way do I go? Oh, no, 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 no. The lavender beds is the residential district. Here we are. Uh, just over there. Oh, I need to check on my retainers as well. Still trying to get the fat cat. That will be, uh, I think that'll be a little theme that pops up in the videos every now and again. My progress towards getting that minion. It'll take a long time. I mean, the ventures that you, the ventures that you undertake to get them, or to get the chance of of the drop. Um, again, they only start at level fifty and you can only do them once every 18 hours so it's probably good unless i get stupidly lucky um it's probably going to take a long time to get that particular minion but it will be worth it as far as i'm concerned there we are. hello one and all i keep forgetting i've got my mount after spending 40-odd levels just wandering about. 
Uh, yes, I am Amelain of the Twin Adder. I understand you're here to learn of the Sylphs. For all the whimsy, they're a wary lot, particularly since the Empire has come to the Shroud. Earn their trust, however, and they're as friendly as any folk. Have their quirks, but so do, so do we all. No? Would you know more? You'd do well to speak with the master of this hut, Rolf. He's forgotten more about the Sylphs than I'll ever know. Hi, Rolf. Thanks for learning a thing or two about the Sylphs, have you? I'll tell you one thing, they're a peculiar folk. How peculiar, you ask? Well, just let me tell you. There, there, er. Uh, beg pardon, friend, my memory's just not what it used to be. I've seen much and more in my adventuring days, and it's all a cluster in my noggin now. Though I've shared my stories with those around the hut before. Might have more luck with them. Yeah, don't ask me what I know, ask everybody else. Sylphs, yes, my father's told me stories plenty of times. I've always found most captivating is how their concept of etiquette is almost completely alien to our own. You do best not to underestimate them on account of their childlike looks, lest you lest your face end up a mess of glyphs, squiggles, and chocobo scratches. Tee hee. That sounds delightful. In absolutely no way, shape, or form. You there. The crookest way to a quiver woman's heart might through her stomach. Don't even think of trying to foist your foodstuffs on a sylph. They sustain themselves simply by bathing in the sun. Well, they are kind of plant-like. Mom. Sylphs. Inveterate tricksters and troublemakers. That's what they are. One day they're drawing mobile faces on our masks. Next they're sending our young sentries falling to the bottom of a ravine. Tell them to stop and they'll just laugh at you. Rolf claims they harbour no ill will, but I dare say such pranks are no laughing matter. I would agree. Nobody wants to go falling to the bottom of a ravine. So, Rolf, I've spoken to your um, extended memory. Oh, of course, of course. Hearing your stories, well, my stories, has brought the memories filling back to me. I feel like dancing. Yes, nothing brings people across. Okay, you're a weirdo. Uh, Self told me long ago that dancing is a time honored greeting among their kind. You do well to remember, to remember this. It just may help win the favor of forest friends. And looks like we've got some other quests to uh, perhaps do. I'll take them. Uh, you are an adventurer, are you not? I. You have the same air about you as father. Okay. Uh, our meat stocks are running precarious, or perilously low. Can you just go and do my job for me, please? Right, what else? Uh, one more thing you should know about the Sills, they don't like, they don't take kindly to guests who show up empty-handed. Uh, present. You, sir, need medical attention. It's not good to have lost so much of your memory. Ooh, yes, we can now also do, um, Grand Company levies. To earn these things, storm seals. I will accept all of these. What they are is largely irrelevant. It's it's literally the levies, uh, the seals that I'm looking for. Um. Oh yes, one thing I didn't uh, explain because I already did it in the last video. Um, uh, sorry, outside the last video. I got a promotion. So basically, you return to the... Um, oh god, what are they called? Personnel officer in your grand, uh, grand company. So mine's at Lim Silliminter. And for that promotion, you just needed to give them 2,000 of those seals. Um, for further promotions, you need to have done other stuff. 
you can rise through the ranks all the way to Storm Champion. That will take a hell of a long time. But we'll also see how much we can progress through the ranks of the Maelstrom. And that should be a fun little thing to chronicle as well. So we're going all the way back here. To speak to someone about his memories. Obviously she's going to give me some sort of gift to give to this. I, I'm not using my mount. Every time I see somebody with their mount, I'm like, I have one now. Use it. Peace offering for the sylphs. Were anyone else, I'd recommend a jar of honey. But I fear they wouldn't get you past their front doorstep, do you? Nope. Any chance for familiar with milk root? Ew. Not seen an orchid around the corner in quite some time. I did encounter a suspicious clump of grass the other day. Okay, so we're going to draw out a marble with something. That will be what we're looking for. Amber syrup on the tussock. And there's an archie. Marble. Don't. Please don't kill it. I didn't. I don't think it actually matters if. Uh, maybe it does matter if somebody else kills your mission creature. I don't know. Anyway. We have done it. Following you, you kill stealer. Ta da! Now you're back. Yes, I got this. Milk root. But of course, those sylphs quaff that cloudy stuff as quick as I do a flagon of mead. The effects are just about the same as well. Well, if their effects, if the effects of you losing your memory, I don't particularly think that's a good thing. Any road, a gift of milk root will have the silver skull and your friend and brother the moment they lay eyes on it. Let me wrap that up for you. I'm starting to feel a bit woozy. Okay, next. Taking the liberty of wrapping your milk root, well and good. Thank you. Silps love the stuff, but me, I'd rather bury my nose in a chocobo in chocobo dung. Okay. I can tell you that story another time. More important matters to attend to today, yes. Silps are an eccentric bunch, but I've shared their company enough to know they're kind at heart. Not sure one whose intentions are true. May your parlay be a fruitful one, friend, and do stop by on your return. There's a flagon of full flower mead with your name on it. I'll pass, but thanks. Okay, somebody else wants me to do something as well. Good to see your knowledge of Celtic culture has matured. See no reason to delay your mission any further. On your arrival at Little Solace, seek out a young sylph by the name of Kamuxio. This served as an intermediary between our peoples on many an occasion and has the close ear of his tribe's elder. See that Hawthorne has furnished you with some of that malodorous root sylph so adore. I have something of far greater import for you to deliver, a missive from the elder seed seer herself. To summarise the letter's contents in brief, it vouches for the integrity of our envoy, that'll be you and restates Gridania's desire to maintain a harmonious relationship with our long-standing friends of the forest. While well, with the Ixal has taken its toll on our resources, we can ill afford to get mired in another conflict. I need not impress upon you any further the importance of this mission. It's well to see you return with good tidings. 
Thanks. Let's repair our equipment if we need it. Yeah, I'll do it We're only about 80,000, maybe 100,000 off actually buying the fat cap, but we're not going to do it. Worth a damn. Nope. What do you want? I shan't get a wink of sleep. What? Hear my tale, adventurer. Last night, upon returning from my patrol, I caught sight of a child playing atop the roof. I haven't received any word of any missing children, but if there were any... If there were even a chance, if not for my duties here, I'll be out searching right now. If I trouble you to climb on the roof. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'm only the bloody warrior of light. I can go climb on a roof. Nothing better to do with my time. Business. Well, that went well. Try not to break your legs. Young Leaf. Scour the roof for signs of a visitor. So the weekend is once again upon us. Um, happy it's Friday again. Off to Airsoft tomorrow morning for the uh, morning session. Be good to get back into that actually, we've not done it in so long. I think I've talked about it before. Oh, down there. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done it and just enough time to forget how much it hurts when you get shot. But thankfully, I'm uh, loaning some armour from my housemate and already got my goggles and face mask and stuff. So I'll be well protected. Uh, just need to rent a gun for the time being. Until I get me license. Found this cane atop the roof, you say? It is far too small for our use. I'd wager it belongs to one of the sylphs of Little Solace settlement to the east. I suppose that solves the mystery. At any rate, we should return this cane to its right floor now. Please take it to a sylph named Delexia. She will know what to do with it. Will do. Let's jump on. Now, what did I call my chocobo? I can't remember. Uh... What did I call it? And how do I access that? No, it's not pet. What is it pet? How do you find out the name of your chocobo? I think it's Baxterionomon. Something along those lines. I'll have to go back and watch my last video. <laughs> anyway, off to the silks. Hello, I have a staff for you. Brings walking one to the abode of these ones. This thing. Walking one brings cane. This one was looking under every leaf and flower for cane. This one's heart is full of joy. Walking one is kind, like seed seeing one. This one likes kind ones. This one will be friend to kind one. Kind one has this one's word. Great. Uh, yeah, none of that is worth my time. I think we are going here. Amongst it all. Walking one is not familiar to this one. This one does not trust strange walking ones. Strange dancing ones might be a different story, but this one expects no such thing. Walking one should go home and leave this one be. Walking one will do no such thing. Good 
this one will welcome walking one who moves like these ones. If walking one will talk to this one, this one will answer. This one is a busy one, so walking one should speak with quick tongue. Walking one will bring gift to this one. Yes, I would. Here, yeah, have some milk room. Oh, and the letter. Mm-hmm. Walking one carries message for Elder One. This one will deliver the message to Elder One. Walking one should not worry. Hello, you two. We're envoys from Gridania and we're here to treat with your people. I would like to pay our respects to your Elder and to learn from him more of your Lord Rama. Okay. Who are these ones? These walking ones come from Gridania. Yes, that's what I just said. Walking one became a dancing one and brought milk fruit, but walking one tricks this one. This one does not like tricks. This one will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking one should go home. Silves of the solace have always welcomed Gridarian and boys with open wings. The letter carried by Geico here is an oath of peace, penned by the elder seeds here herself. Still, you would refuse us. This one's reasons are of no business to walking ones. Other one has no words. Well, I never. Turned away at the gates. Whatever did we do to deserve such a rude welcome? Was Geico's jig insufficiently jiggy? I'm as baffled as you, but something tells me recent events have our erstwhile fluttery friends feeling uncommonly wary. Seem we've no choice but to ask around and see how we might earn their trust. Everybody always wants something. Uh, what do we want? Do we take paralyzing portion? Right. You are of a lot. What can we possibly do? Are you in the mood for dancing? Uh, not really. You went through all that trouble to learn the sub's traditional greeting, but you greeted them you greeted hardly any of them. So I need to go and dance for some sylphs, I guess. There you go. Ooh, walking one knows Jolly Dance. Jolly Dance fills this one with good cheer. These two be friends. Just how it works in the real world. I dance at people and they're like, I want to be your friend. What I want to have you committed. Walking one would be a friend to these ones. This one is overjoyed, but this one keeps the ways of weaving a secret. Even if walking one learned the secret, walking one could not weave in the same way. I don't know. Looks, uh, it's pretty basic to me. And... I think we're already friends, aren't we? I gave you that cane. You said you loved me. In the meanwhile, Carbuncle's just staring at me like, what? Dude, what? Uh, walking one is a friend to these ones. Friendly like Gracious Elder One of Forest City. Knows how to dance into these ones' hearts. Aren't I just cock of the walk? Alright, done it. Would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is your lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to all of, all of Little Solace. Better news, oh, I have thoroughly recovered from those cursed leg cramps. Wow, well done. You. As an adventurer, you're no stranger to helping distressed folk, I wager. <laughs> you would not believe. Tales of good deeds are quick to spread. The adventurer who comes to the aid of the local populace can go from stranger to hero or knight. See, you see what I'm getting at? Sylphs who make their home in Los Solis do so, having been driven from their woodland home. Okay. So... Go and find out what they want. 
praise be to the elementals. I cannot express how happy I am to see an adventurer with a truly gentle heart. Sylphs of little solace are sorely in need of aid. Here we go. Yes, I will. Being a temporary settlement, Little Solace wants for amenities, not least a stout set of defences. Beasts from Malms around are free to wander in and terrorise the hapless residents. This is Gaulins and Gal Nats, or Gaul Nats, that roam these parts are especially troublesome, but slaying one of each should serve as a warning to the rest. And gather me three brownie bushes. Bring me a shrubbery. When you've done the deeds, seek out Kamuxio. He's slow to warm to outsiders, but your good intentions will not be lost on him. I shall do thy quest, and this one as well. Nope, don't need any of that. Walking one wants to be friends to this one. So good, this one has itchy spot on back. Hawk my back. Yes, not all. There you go. Walking one fell into trap. Touching this one turns walking one's skin into moss. Mossy one's skin turns greener and greener. Mossy one should examine self to see how silly Mossy one has become. What an absolute prick you are! Examine? Examine self. You admire yourself. <laughs> he he he. Walking one is so silly, there is no curse. This one tricked silly one good, yes. This one is smart. Silly one should congratulate this one for being so very smart. Silly one should slap you for wasting my time. Yeah, whatever. Well done. Oh, I don't have them targeted, for God's sake. There, you. That's right, silly one. This one is very, very smart one. This silly one is smart to know this one. Just give me some money. Now what? Yep. Yeah. Buzzing jiggers? I think... Yeah. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, attack whenever these ones go into the forest and bathe in sunlight. Some of the other ones have gone into the forest. Into the forest to lure out vile ones. Kill some of these flying things. I'll do that for you. And you. Ooh, black dye. Nice. Mm hmm. So you want me to make tusk things go away. So you guys can die. This is. Now we kill What's the other thing. The thing here anyway. Just waiting by a tree. Now he's not blind. I wish this timer wasn't quite so long. More? More work? Wish me more.
Cool. What's that? Suspicious thicket. I've never seen a more suspicious thicket in my life. It's exactly the same as every other one. doing I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not wandering off and doing random stuff too much there's no more quests to pick up up here anyway uh, what on earth is that oh I think not Does mean we've got some. Oh, that's it. Does mean we've got some rousing music to do the project request that we need to do. But it's stopped. We don't need to be here now anyway. Uh... Oh, it's a friend. Oh, it's one of the. Uh... The brand company levies. Well, we're here, so we might as well do it. Oh, that's not. It's in brownie bushes. Oh, these things. Thought it was going to make us tear change into our herbalist which is fine our oh, botanist not herbalist uh, we haven't actually leveled that one very much i think i'm level 33 fisher uh, which is the highest job level i have out of all of those where's more of these brownie bushes I've probably walked past it about 20 times. That's no, one. So grab that. Go and do those two guild levies. Just so we've got some more currency to use when we next go back to the uh, Maelstrom headquarters. See what we can buy. I think it's 3,000 for the next promotion. Panaxia or Panixia for Wolf and Wolf. carrying the luminous crystals and slay the target. I think with these quests you don't really have to do them the way that it asks you to do. You just sort of randomly attack everything and uh, 
whichever target it is that you need to destroy is revealed eventually anyway. Sworn we picked up two more. Did we not? Did we only do two? No, we didn't. Um, where are the other field levies? That's weird. Okay, we'll leave them for now. Uh, we'll go and turn them in, actually. The ones that we've already completed. Small rewards for this area, but why the hell not? Difficulty speed. Yep, so that's just over 200. And another 200. And a little bit of experience. Never hurts. Uh, right, back. Oh, that was another thing that we did as well, um, that I did, should I say. Uh, I went to the gold saucer to get rid of that quest out of my list to hand the certificate into the airship ticket here, whatever they're called. Uh, I didn't do anything in the gold saucer except for the introductory tour. Uh, so I haven't actually progressed anything in there. But we'll probably head back there at some point. We'll do an entire gold saucer episode, I reckon. Dancing one kills bitey buzzy ones. This one hits, 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 bitey buzzy ones. Well, considering they're part of the forest, that's a very uncharitable attitude. Many walking ones come to this one's board, but few are friendly like dancing one. Perhaps this one was wrong not to trust dancing one after all. I'm glad you think that way. Yep. Yeah. You can go and have your sunlight. Take the grape juice, thank you. Nice bike. Uh, yeah. Dancing one is not like other walking ones. This one can trust dancing one. This one would ask dancing one for help. Strange walking ones with bodies of steel come to the home of these ones. Yep, that would be the Galleons. Where empire goes, many living ones become dead ones. Correct. Okay. This one fears steel ones are after something, but this one should speak no more. Go dancing one. This one depends on kindness of dancing one. I still haven't finished all the quests that I was meant to do. <sighs> yeah, having your uh, Chocobo as a combat pet helps a great deal. Tiny 
target not in line of sight, I can see it perfectly well. Thank you very much. Die. What else we got to do? Oh yeah, set traps. There's one. There's two. Also, it's not raining today, which is fantastic news. Uh, it means hopefully, despite the fact that my audio still isn't at as good quality as I would like it to be, we won't have the constant sound of rain smattering against my uh, PVC window. Which is rapidly becoming the most annoying sound I can contemplate. Oh, it's a Magitech thing. It's really cool. Elixir. Strange steel walking ones. Yes, this one is seen. Steel walking ones carry big boxes. Okay. Here you go. Take your black dye, thank you. Oh, why do you want something else? Yeah, okay. Yes, I will find your thread. You see, I I sound exasperated, but in all honesty, I I don't really mind these quests too much. It's another form of grinding, doing the low-level quests, in my opinion, and grinding is something that I've never really had a problem with. Um, I actually enjoy it quite a lot. I think what frustrates me, if I can use that word, is having to just keep going back to the same character for a quest. And it's like, you've, you've done one quest and it's like, oh no, I need you to do something else. Oh no, I need you to do something else. That, that grates after a while. Um, I'd much rather be kind of like, okay, well, I'm, I'm just out fighting things. I don't know. I think that's another one of those things that makes sense inside my own head, but when I try and vocalise it, it makes less sense. It's more of a feeling than an actual stance. Again, I don't even know if that makes sense. So. A lot of the things that I think don't make sense, they're kind of... They're more easily interpreted in my own head. So maybe talking about them is pointless, so I'll stop. Uh, ooh, we've got 43 quest up there, Windy Wedding. That looks like something we should probably do. We shall soon be level 45. We can't actually do any more of the Arcanist uh, quests. I don't think until we 
progress the main story a bit more, which is another reason I want to do that. It says we can hand in a quest inside the Hawthorne Hub. So we'll do that. Thank you ever so much. Now all that remains is for us to wait and pray. Oh yeah, that was the traps. Uh, yep, so she cooks. Lovely. Some green dye. Uh, we're not wearing a mask at the moment because it's part of the... As you can see, we can't wear anything on the head while we're wearing the cowl. So we'll take the money instead. Hello, Victor. Fearsome types clad head to toe in steel, you say. Imperial soldiers, no doubt. I couldn't tell you what they're plotting, but I'm sure it's nothing good. Wow, very insightful. I tell you're a valued member of the Twelveswood. Mon. Men clad in strange armour. Why, well, now you mention it, I did see some suspicious types of late. They were gathering deep in the forest. I simply assumed they were adventurers. You know what assuming does, Mon. Looks like... Oh, yeah, we can do that one here. Let's do that. Defeat and... Yeah, there you go. Again, this is another one where I don't think it actually matters if we talk them or not. One of them will just be like, oh yeah, I've changed. And yeah, there you go. No talking required. We still need to talk to someone. 
not you. Yeah, have some thread. <clears throat> now leave me be. Is it you? Yes. Nathaxio. Shush, shush, this one says. Steel walking ones are scary, like touched ones. This one hates scary, and scary ones have scary friends. I'm sure they do. Happy to see Dancing One return. Well, I learned that there are men in steel armor and that nobody seems to like them. Steel walking ones try to hide, but this one will find them. This one will borrow Dancing One's map. This one makes mark right here. This is where steel ones hide. This one knows. I will certainly go looking for them. Presence of the enemy. Sense of hostile presence. I do. Oh, I think it, these guys are actually on my hunting log as well. That's a shame. Search for clues. We have some clues. And we're back. List of supplies and material to be delivered to a certain Imperial stronghold. That's a one pound paper inside a box. Food and rocks were inside boxes. This one does not understand. The food and rocks mentioned all come from the home of these ones. How do steel walking ones know how to find them? Is there a sneaky one hiding behind this one's wings? That's one has helped much. Dancing one must promise to always be friend to these ones, of course. Why not? Helpful one arrives at a good time. One of these named Claxio ventured outside Little Solus alone. Alone is unsafe. A helpful one must find Claxio. West. Go west. Off that away. Brotherly love. There he is. Hiya. Uh, don't make this one laugh. This one is weary of living with those who are not these ones. This one wants to be alone. These ones rely on walking ones for everything, no better than those ones that summoned a primal one. Small wonder this one chose to leave. This one thought this a likely place to build a home. The meddling one arrives, forces this one to go deeper into the forest. Meddling one is forbidden from following this one. Okay. He doesn't want to come home. Sorry. This one saw touched ones lurking in the forest. Helpful one must hurry. Hurry and find Plaxia. He forbid me from doing it. Okay. 
Do I look like your bitch? Don't answer that. Should do that quest as well. Okay. Here he is again. Ooh, that person's in trouble. Don't worry, I got you. Oi. Meddling one is back. This one told meddling one to be gone. Touch ones. Touch ones should go away too. This one is a good one. Yeah, you, you're not going to get left alone. You're going to get beaten up. Sylphs have been tempered, brought under the thrall of the primal Rama. Into the Amalja tempered by Ifrit, these Sylphs exist only to serve their deity. Answer to words, only steal. Well, I have a book. Marble behind this as well. Oops, those are all dead. Safe. This one was so scared. Oh dear, what a shame. Kamuxio and meddling one as well. Why are these two here? These two came to rescue Faxio. Faxio saved us, it's one with joy. Kamuxio, forgive this one. This one did not mean to run away from those. Yes, you did. God. Take some responsibility. These ones who live at little size were changing, becoming friendly with other ones. This one feared that these ones were forgetting who these ones are, like touch ones did, but this one was wrong. Yep, you were so wrong. Go, get out of my sight. Don't want to see you again. Should see to that. Okay. Oops. Probably need to rearrange my hood at some point because that's going to end up getting in the way of things and I don't think I actually need this out to be fair. In fact, I don't need that. That can go and that can live there. Actually, no, was, yeah, actually. Uh, that can go, that can go, that can live there, save, thanks. 
that's a bit more orderly. So just silly things up there. Blinky things down here. I suppose it could open another bar on top of that one. I don't think I really need to, to be honest. I might do when I start using more potions. And actually, that's a good point. Um, I'm going to put my potions on there. Should have some high ether as well. Uh, Use that as well. I'm back. This one thought Klaxio was lost forever. Helpful one saved Klaxio. Now these ones can be family again. This one has known many walking ones, even many kind walking ones, but helpful one is kindest and strongest of all. Helpful one is hero to these ones. How oh, nice. Okay, take me to see the elder now, please. The other one is 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 what? Elder? Oh, my mount speed's increased. Is there any particular reason for that? I mean, good. Make a confession. This one must ask kind one's forgiveness. This one made promise to kind one to see the elder one, yes, but this one cannot. The elder one is not here. Oh. Often, Elder One often goes into the forest, but never, never for this long. Okay, go and see Busker on. I think he's in the South Shroud. Okay. Yes, South Shroud. Hang on, what's that? And it sounds like nothing more than a fanciful fabrication. He explains his tale comes straight from the wood whalers who dared enter. So here at the portal leads to a labyrinth that changes it to... Oh, right, yeah. Um, well, we're going that way anyway. Yeah, so there's basically like a dungeon that you can do. Uh, where you start off at like level one and you work your way through getting equipment and armor within the dungeon itself. Um, I'm certain there's riches to be had from doing it. I tried it a couple of times with my previous character, but to be honest with you, it never really uh, held my interest as like an actual thing to be doing. I always ended up doing the quests. I went to the Wolves Den uh, yesterday when I wasn't recording just to see if I could get into the PvP side. Oh god, my mount speed has increased. Whee! Um, to see if I could do any PvP, but I can't because I need to progress the story. Um, uh, yeah, box to it will teleport. So that's yet another reason to uh, to carry on with the story. So we can actually unlock things that we want to do. Come along.
Hello. If it isn't our intrepid ambassador, I'll fare your diplomatic efforts with the Salt Tribes. Well, has gone missing, you say? I can assure the Sylphs that my sharpest eyed serpents will be on the lookout night and day. Okay, so we need to go to Bent Branch Meadows, which I'm assuming is outside of Gridania. Well, outside of the city, anyway. Let me go out of this gate now, I think. That's a hell of a name. French Montio. Roost bond. Uh, yeah. Mount up. Look at him go. The chocobo person's down here. I wonder if they'll be able to help me get my uh, get my mount to a combat mount. That's something I have to do elsewhere. We can't do it just yet. <laughs> Message from Commander that Sylph Elder has vanished. Worry not, friend, the woodwalers have eyes under every leaf behind every branch. If the Elder is anywhere in these forests, we shall find him. Uh, great. So now we need to go to the south shroud. Which we we're gonna head to anyway. Dungeons are available to us. Uh, ooh. Is that bonus only available if we play as a tank? Bonus XP will be awarded to compensate for level there. The, the amount of bonus company seals awarded is determined by class job level. Joining this duty as a party will notify any adventurer in need bonus. Okay, yeah. So adventurer in need tank. Oh, we've got the frontline things as well, which are similar to the PvP stuff. Uh, that's in the Highlands. We've done that one. I think we've done all these. Yeah, I can always redo them, but the only one that there'd be any real point in redoing would be Cutter's Cry. Uh, might as well wait until we're next level and try. Dzeemel Darkhold. Should be fun. And then there's obviously the Ball of Embers, which is Fight Ifrit, which is a level 20 encounter. So there is absolutely no point doing that. really want to join a free company as well, which are basically guilds, um, but I, I don't think that would be um, particularly relevant to this sort of series of videos that I'm doing. Uh, the activities that you get up to in a guild are kind of more a social thing between the guild. Don't know how interesting that would be for a video, but you know, never know. You might tune into an episode one day and that might have happened, so 
If it does, it does. If not, never mind. This is Buscaron's joint. It's lounge music. Well met, adventurer. We have the finest grog and grub this side of... Eh? Not his filly belly, then. Absolutely not. A hunger for news, is it? Ah, there's been talk of sylph lurking hereabouts. I couldn't rightly say if it be the elder you seek. Are you related to Badaron by any chance? These woodland scamps all look alike. Short of painting one red and another one blue, most folks would struggle to tell the two of them apart. Need the time, mayhap you could stay a while and see what the gods have in store. You never know, you might even stumble across this sylph elder yourself. Perhaps. I think there's a few quests to do in this bar as well. I've done a few of them, um, but I think... Ooh, the egg of a domesticated chicken. Well, I never. No word on the self elder yet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. In the meantime, how about doing a fib for old Buscaron in return? Uh, right then, let's put you to work. There's a customer outside who's spoiling for a fight. Just take this tub of cold water and douse the drunkard. Okay. Patrons can swill grog all night and carouse loud enough to wait dead if they wish. But as soon as it turns violent, I've got to put my boot down. Of course you do. Uh, you. What are you staring at? You want to keep, keep them eyes in your face? Absolutely do. Here, have this. Splash. Uh, the Ficus teats, that's called. What do you mean not fighting? It's dust white scum was... I don't really care. <laughs> what are the rules? That bastard gets to keep his skin for now. Yeah, he does. Now off you go. Pat you on the head. Pat doesn't exist. Okay. I was pretty sure Pat does exist, but never mind. Nicely done, Geico. I'll not have my patrons picking fights with each other over a petty prejudice. In case you didn't see, the bloke who caught the brunt of that outburst is a dusk white uh, 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 <laughs> A dusk white Ellison. My tongue wouldn't stop moving then. So funny. Uh, there are people who shun cities to live in the wilds, making them no better than brigands in the eyes of many. To be fair, the dusk whites can be an unruly lot. They ain't so bad once you get to know them. It don't seem right to bar a whole race of people from the druthers for the misdeeds of a few. Should be at least one place where anyone willing to pay the coin and drink in peace is welcome, don't you think? Aye. Now, I'll take that chicken egg. It's a weird reward to give. Oops. Losing my headphones. Uh, cotton sugar loaf hat. I think I already have one of those. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get my materia situation sorted out. I don't have any materia linked to any of my stuff. The eponymous proprietor of Buscaron's Druthers had need of an able adventurer. We appreciate the good you've done for our patrons. If you aren't disinclined, I have a favour of my own to ask. There's a Kikane friend of mine named Tetarune. After the calamity, I came across him falling in the shroud. He nearly died in all the havoc. So I took him in and nursed him back to health. Uh -huh. Just so happens, I got to cleaning up around here and came across something of his, the scarlet earring. I know he was fond of the thing. Must have forgotten it when he left. Okay. So back to Limsa Laminsa, which is actually quite fortuitous because um, I did want to check on the progress of my retainers. Let's get this out of the way first. You. Sorry, but I must insist that you are an adventurer, I'm rather a seasoned looking one besides. On the off chance you're not simply here to go up, perhaps you can lend us a hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sick at the other station at Quarry Mill. 
I don't know if this is the quest I was thinking it was. Hmm, I don't think I've fished in this river either. You know what? While I'm here, I might as well. Fish. Uh, bait have I equipped. Freshwater fishing. That'll do. see what we got. Nearly at the next fishing level as well, so I can probably go back and do some quests for the Fisher's Guild. Get it. What we got? A river crab. Give it another go. So relaxing. And the river crab. Let's try it with patience activated. So this increases the chance of landing um, bigger fish, but it also reduces hook efficiency, so you have to use these two. Uh, that's the weak ones, that's the strong ones. Try the weak one. Doesn't always work. Depends what fish are actually in the river. The river crab. Okay, I think we're done here. I need to make sure that all my gear is still equipped as it should be as well. Uh, Danabrite, Pearl, Goshenite, Serial, Goshenite, Danabrite. I think that's okay. Uh, mm -mm. Yes. I think it is the, uh, the mission I was thinking of. It's a relief. Hey, quarry mill. Yes, it's that one. Well met. Is some ha, eh? The site is of interest owing to the Gelmoran ruins. Gelmora being an underground city which predates Gridania, in case you were unaware. Any road, a few days past, we received reports from several an what? Anthro anthropogeographers <laughs> that a magical gateway of some sort had appeared in the ruins, and that all manner of creatures were coming and going through it. My men and I were among the first to examine it, and well, it's hard to explain. Crossed the threshold into a set of corridors we'd never seen before. And suddenly, each and every one of us was filled with an inexplicable sense of dread. It was all I could do to take even a single step. According to I Koto, who accompanied us, the ruins are warded with, more power with powerful magics that sap the spirits and ether of all who enter, rendering them easy prey for the creatures within. Thankfully, he managed to devise a solution. He had the pool arms and armour, which safeguard and channel the wielders' energies they might withstand the ruins' magics. Unfortunately, there's little to prevent us from losing our way, though it beggars belief every time we have dared to venture into the ruins, we have found the path to be changed. We suspect this too may be the work of an unfathomab unfathomably powerful mage. It does to say something strange is afoot. Traditional tactics are not like to suffice. Even experienced adventurers will need to proceed with caution. Okay. Ah. Uh... I don't believe any of that would be useful for us. No. So we'll save that. So we're not going to go in there just at this time, but we do now have the Palace of the Dead. Yeah, so you start at level 1, regardless of any 
job or class level. And you can only use the specific arms and armor that you find in the palace. It's randomly generated. So it is quite cool. Um, but I don't want to do it at the moment. Is there a summoning bell in this neck of the woods? Literally this neck of the woods. It would be nice if there was. It would mean... No, well, if there is, I don't know where it is. Uh, right, so we've only got one more quest in our list, and it's to go back to Silamincer. I'll also go and check what we need to get promoted to the next rank. Exciting times. Well, I suppose that's subjective, but... <laughs> If it's not exciting times for you, I very much doubt you're listening to me speak, so that's largely irrelevant. Um, I'm going to go to the upper decks. Yeah, that's one thing I always wondered as well. Um, whether or not people are having extended wait times because less people are queuing for the older content, the older dungeons and things. I mean, I think the longest I waited was like 10 minutes for a duty. Um, or a, a dungeon, whatever. It doesn't seem to be taking any longer than it did the last time I played. Who knows? So we're just going to go and check uh, how many guild seal things we have. Where's the currency thing in the jigger? Let's check. Storm personnel officer. So we need, yeah, we need 3,000 seals and we currently have 2,049. Uh, missions. Yep. Okay. Assisting in the resolution of a fate, completing Grand Company and hunting objectives, undertaking supply and provisioning missions, completing company levies, which are issued by one of the, com on of the company levy officers found across the Aussie. So we can do any for... We don't have to do them for the maelstrom. Cool. Never mind. Uh, can we do this yet? Ooh. Storm Elite's Grimoire. That looks nice. Never mind. Can we do any of these? Nope. So we can't participate in the hunt, I guess that comes later on. That's okay. I won't worry about that too much. Wow, that's a nice axe. Uh, so we'll go back downstairs and use the summoning bell. That reminds me actually we need to uh, need to stock up on some more venture token things so that we can keep sending our retainer out. Playing music in the square today. There normally is. No, not a single one. How boring. 
Company. Yeah, summoning bell. Good news, eventual success. Uh, we were bought. Brilliant. So, Schiff is my one of my retainers. She's level 11, so only another 39 levels, and we can start doing the missions. Uh, fishing. Yeah. Go and get me some maiden carp. That will take one hour. I could send the other one, but to be honest, with the level, with the amount of ventures I've got left, I might as well just focus on one. I think I may have said that before in a previous video. I apologise if I'm repeating myself. Oh, that's cool. Looks like um, Yuna's dress from Final Fantasy X. Yo! You found your way to walk as Ali friend? Hmm? Kirin that works at the Druthers. Ah, you speak of Tetarune. Related to that Kyo Kyo Rune block you saw there by some blood or another. Two of them put in together and we're making good coin. Old Tetarune up at left limbs not long ago. Couldn't say as to why or where. Sounds as though he ain't changed a bit, just like in the Send Adventurer along. Too shy to come his own self. Just drinking with that fool. <laughs> we'll pay him a visit. It's not that far. Hey. Not customer? Not come with custom? Nope. Come with questions. Oh. I guess that's why I got given that chicken egg. <laughs> love chicken egg more than love customer. Well, that's nice. Now working at trading post. Oh yeah, I know what that is. Talk to Weinberg. I will certainly go and talk to Weinberg. Feels like ages since we've been down this end. In fact, there are probably fishing missions we can do, um, but no, focus. Focus on the task at hand. I uh, seen him. He was headed somewhere up north by way of ferry to Aleport. Might as well head there, see what he can suss out. When you arrive, start by asking Alfred. He's an old hand who knows a great deal about a great many things. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Aleport. Yes. Here's 40 gil. Take me to Aleport. Right. Hello. Yeah. Took himself north through Skull Valley into Oakwood. Was looking for a place run by his fellow Kakirin. Kakane. Reckon he meant the one place right on the shore of Bronze Lake, Memorin's trading post. I know the place. like our uh, mount speed hasn't been increased in this area. Pretty sure there's some high level stuff to be doing over there as well. Yeah, that's the Sapsa spawning grounds where the uh, Sahagin live. Yeah. 
treacherous bunch, tre treacherous, treacherous bunch. Fly, chocobo, fly. Right. The trading force is off over here. There he is. Customer, be welcome. Not customer. Not come with custom. No. Here, an earring. You left it in the pub. Tesserin, forget this. Forget it. brothers. Tesserin swore would never forget earring. But never, never forget. Forgot. Good buskaroon. Good Tesserin. Tesserin, miss good buskaroon. Okay. All of these bloody races that talk weird. Good Buskaroon help Tetarun. Tetarun dead without good Buskaroon. Must give thankies. Many, many thankies. Tetarun make kick in. Fire water. Okay. What do you need? Need three good curl pop whiskers. Okay. I know. Let's get those. No. Not interested. Hound Boatswain. Ooh, have I fished here? I don't believe I have. Uh, come for your whiskers. Bad cat. Okay, that's that bit done. Uh, let's chuck the fishing rod in here and see what we come up with. Uh, Fisher. We've got a little light on the end of our fishing rod as well, look. It's off. Oh. Wow. Another river crab. Bloody hell, that's beautiful. Even more so when you turn the UI, uh, the user interface off. Uh, why are we just catching river crabs? Maybe try a different bit. Fishing, fishing, I love fishing. Nobody else loves fishing. Oh! I think that's what I was looking for a while back. Um, I believe it was one of the ventures that I couldn't send my retainer off on because I hadn't caught that particular fish. And now I have. But I think it's actually one that's below the level that we're using now anyway, so... Never mind. At least I've got it in my fishing log. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. What's going on? Don't mind me. 
as you were. That just reminded me of a time when I was playing WoW, um, and I was stood uh, on Stranglethorn Vale, one of the beaches, and this huge party of Horde came tramping past me, obviously on the way to do something. I used to play Alliance. Um, yeah, they came like tramping past loads of them, and <laughs> I messaged my guild. I was like, oh, I'm kind of stood here and just seen all of these Horde go through and they're like it's your duty to stop them <laughs> like, uh, okay yeah just me on my own I'm sure that'll go down really well uh, yes got you everything you need so how are you making alcohol from whiskers mm. well we got a weapons coffer what we got you pick a tricks. Absolutely useless. Get it? You? Useless? Was not funny. All of this is crap. This is what the problem is with over leveling for the quests that you're doing. This is... Okay. Set a room there. Big shop someday. Biggest shop in the Aussie. Make many, many sparklies. All thanks to Good Busker. I'm very, very happy for you. Can't be bothered getting the boat back. Teleport. It'd be interesting to see how much money, um, by the time I'm done with this series, how much money I've actually spent in total on teleporting. I'm sure there must be a way to actually... My feisty... Oh, could this be? Mistakeable smell of chocobo clings to you, adventurer. Would I be correct in assuming? Yes, I do. Ah, brilliant. I'm glad I came here now. Bent Branch Meadows. This guardian native is something of a prodigy in all matters concerning our fine feathered friends. You should be able to help you attain greater affinity with your bird. Hey! That's exactly what I need. Axterionomon, you'll soon be learning the fine art of kicking arse alongside your master. That's a big antelope. So we'll go and give Busker on his um, hat whisker whiskey. I wonder if that's what it says about it in the, the key item order. Foul brew that is made by tossing various items found in the wild, both live and dead, into a barrel of water and letting the concoction ferment for a sun sen night. That would be warm, son. Sen night is, but. There you go. What's this for me? Yes. Take it. Uh, bloody hells. He's cutting onions back there. Oh, don't cry. It's alright. Says to shop it for a year, does he? Aye, oh, that sounds about right. I hate to have to wait, but I reckon that'd be worth it. Stuff has an aroma and body unlike any other drink I know. It's going to be a long year. What say you come back then? Okay, come back in a year. Anything we can use? Nope. Right, you've got another quest, but... Ooh, I leveled up. What's that? Spells can be cast without interruption. Nice. Yeah, we'll keep it there. In fact, we'll move Swift Cast down here as well. Uh, so, 
my feisty little chocobo. Bent Branch Meadows is Central Shroud. I'm not going to teleport because we are literally nearly there. Quite a few things. We haven't used any of our culinarian skills recently. I don't think. No. See, the thing is, it, it takes stuff that we get as a botanist to mix with the abilities that we have as a culinarian. That's definitely not going to be uh, video material. That's something to do when nobody else is looking. Good luck. Teach me, teach me to make my chocobo feisty. You there. Greetings, adventurer. You wish to have your chocobo trained in combat. It's no small request. Riding your bird is one thing. Asking it to take hurts in your name is quite another. Yeah. Do I have your word? Yes, you do. Very well. To begin, you'll need a bunch of Geisel Greens. Yeah. I know what Geisel Greens are. I've played Final Fantasy VII. I have not played the remake. I was talking to somebody at work about this today. Um, something I really do need to actually play through at some point. Have you acquired the greens? I have. Here we go. Superb. Then we'll get straight to it. Doubtless you already know this, but chocobos are highly fond of Geisel greens. They love the leafy vegetables so much, in fact, they will completely forget their fears in the face of danger. So by feeding your bird the greens, you can prevail upon it to fight beside you. What's called, it will be up to you to direct its actions as you see fit. It innately responds to a number of general commands. Give your bird an order, and it will act accordingly. Brilliant. That concludes your lesson. Summon your chocobo with a bunch of geisel greens. Yeah. Keep an ample supply. Yeah, you can only summon it out with the greens. In addition to riding him, you can now also summon your chocobo to fight alongside you. So if we look at this, we can have uh, to 999 of them. If we use them, chocobo wants some to battle. Your chocobo will remain with you for 30 minutes until the suffer's suffers injuries grievous enough to make him flee. Actions and traits interface. Uh... No. I can't remember how to do this now. Ah, there we go. Companion. So we can make it attacker, defender, or healer. I think I will drag those out to the bar. So that'll make it a damager, that'll make it a healer, and that'll make it a tank, I assume. Or maybe not a tank. I don't know what that means. Anyway. We shall try it out in combat, and I think after that, that's where we will leave this episode for the time being. Which is a shame, because I do have things to do tomorrow, but I would like to stay up longer and do this. But I must sleep. Ah. 
Um, I think I've gone the wrong way. Am I? No, I was going the right way. I was right all along. So yeah, you can see now it's actually following me around. Like, you have greens. Give me some. And there should be a timer up there. So there he is. Back on him on. Yeah, I was kind of right. I think I've been saying that right anyway. I should probably move that... Uh, particular bar somewhere else so it's not in the way. In fact, yes, let's do that now. Uh, layout. No. Oh, it's a party list. Uh, it's not really going to fit anywhere else, is it? Just move it further down. Uh, cancel, save. That's all right. It can do. So let's see how well it performs in battle. Prepare for battle. Nope. Oh, his low skill level's too low. I guess we have to level him up. Because that is also a thing. But he is fighting, which is good. Good job. And now if we return to his face. You say, ah, well done. You and your chocobo have fought side by side and shared the blood of your foes. Something along those lines. Now your chocobo has an insatiable thirst for blood. Congratulations, you've created a monster. Well, isn't it? Oh. I'm back. Look at my bleeding chocobo. You successfully negotiated your first few battles with a chocobo. Well done. Did it feel? Was it not supremely reassuring fighting with your feathered companion? Aye, it was. Chocobo can make up for your shortcomings or build upon your strengths. Indeed, there are countless ways the two of you might complement one another. Some exper through some experimentation, you will come to find the approach that serves you best. Uh, before I forget, I have one last part gift. A saddlebag for your chocobo. Harry and Gai shall green... Gai shall? Gai sal greens. About can be quite cumbersome. Should be sufficient room for your personal belongings, should the need arise. You can now access your chocobo saddlebag. Cool. Seven bag. What's that quest then? Um, bird in hand. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what that's for. It might be for the chocobo races at the gold saucer. Yes, we have um, we have strengthened our bond. Would you not say, Baxterionamon? Don't look at me like that. He's gonna eat me. He's gonna peck my face off. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Um, yeah, that's where we're gonna leave it for now. Um, we will do more of the main quest next time.
and uh, and hopefully explore more of your killer instinct side. Isn't that right, dear bird? Yes. Okay, well, that's enough. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.